Right guys, I'm just in Kos, Greece and uh, just walking around. I went on the Get Your Guide app on my phone and paid £2.50 for a kind of tour that I could do by myself just using my phone. And I just find it funny in Greece the way that like, I'll show you this, what I'm going to show you. There's just like a normal street and by the sides of these ancient ruins. It's amazing to me because I love history. I'm just going to show you now. One second. Yeah. Someone's yard. It's just houses surrounding this area completely. You almost feel a bit rude because you're like in the back of someone's yard while you're just looking at the ancient ru ruins. But it's cool though. Look at this man. That's amazing. Okay, so these are just normal houses. And then there's a couple of mattresses. A door. Someone's van. And look. Just ancient Greece. Ancient ruins. I'm so blessed to be here right now at this time of the year. It's out of season and it's a much better time to come because way less tourists. It's so chilled out. You feel like you're coming to the real country without like loads of tourists everywhere. Like right now I'm in the Odeon of Kos, which is an amphitheater. And yeah, it's just, look, I'll show you. There's like no one here. See the roads right over there. Got some cactuses over here. We want some cactus. We saw that, me and Beck saw that in Madeira. <laughs> Look, people have started to write their names in them. Don't know if the camera's picking that up, but yeah, it's quite funny. See, this is all locked up because it's out of season. This stuff isn't open, but it's still cool. You can still see a lot of it. I'm going to go around the back here. Just in the flip-flops today. I don't have the best footwear, but I just wanted to get some sun to my legs. Yeah, so th I've, you might be wondering why Bex isn't with me, but we went together, we went away somewhere in England the first week of the school half term because me and Bex both work in the education system. So we've got this two weeks and I saw these cheap flights to cost for like £47, but Bex, it was too early for Bex to go abroad. She want, wants to go a bit later. So it's literally just a three day holiday this. So. Okay, so I've just found a Jewish graveyard. I've walked quite a long way from the center of Cost Town now. I'm trying to find where the Apostle Paul preached the gospel. My friend Axel sent me the location because locals won't know it because Greece is very traditionally Christian, Orthodox, but I wouldn't say like, especially considering my conversations with people because I spoke to a lot of people, your average person doesn't really have a real relationship with Jesus Christ, so they, they don't even know about this stuff. Like you really have to Google this stuff and or know people that have know the Bible well and have managed to find these locations because it's not that sort of stuff is not going to be on tourism boards so yeah I found the location but hopefully we it's such a long way it's a good it's a good one hour walk and it's hot man so and I'm in my flip flops but it should be good I'm sure I'll find it Some cows just sleeping again. I had some random like gypsies come up to me asking for money and stuff and I tried to pray for them but they said they were Muslims so 
sometimes like evangelizing it, it can be a bit difficult with the language barrier especially when you've got like recent immigrants into a country but yeah uh what else was i gonna say yeah this i met this guy called johnny in a restaurant and this is powerful this is so much the holy spirit like i evangelized to him and he said he had a friend who was trying to buy him a bible and encourage him to read the word and i just gave him some encouragement as well i actually offered to baptize him because i said look i'm here for a couple of days if you want i could baptize you uh but yeah he's a bit too busy he's like plays football works in the restaurant with his parents and you know my friends kevin and michael like they try and baptize people quite often and it's something i'm still yet to do in my, i've been a christian for so long but i never baptize anyone yeah, but, but I don't think it's, I think it's, it's very doable. It's just, you really have to persist with people. So, nah, I say it's doable. It's not that easy, guys. It's not that easy, especially with strangers. But it is possible. So I'm quite high up now, so you can see right in the distance. It looks quite cool. This might be someone's yard. Could this be it, guys? This might be it. This might be the place the Apostle Ball went. I can actually walk there. You can walk there from Cost Town. Yeah, this is an archaeological museum. It's an old hospital from before the 4th century. I'm literally the only one here, guys. This is amazing. Nowadays, it's rare, guys, to find these sites and you'd be the only one here. That's a, such a rare thing. When you travel, like, there just seems to be tourists everywhere, but this is amazing. This only cost eight euros to come in here. I think that's good, right? Uh, so you're here, it was a hospital. Uh, it was built around um, 4th century BC. Uh, today is about two and a half thousand years old. Um, here, Hippocrates uh, taught his uh, students about medicine. He was the first doctor who spoke about cancer. He was the first doctor to invent uh, medical confidentiality. And um, he was the first doctor who actually performed uh, surgeries. Um, this place was destroyed many times by other nations. There was many earthquakes, and now that's all was left, sadly. Do you know what nations uh, came and destroyed it? Um, uh, it was uh, Ottomans mostly. Ottoman Empire. Yeah, Ottoman Empire, exactly. And yeah. um, uh, also some parts were taken to rebuild other, other places here in Kosh, like the castle, the Neradia castle. Did the, Na the Nazis didn't come here to dis destroy anything? Uh, or was it? Well, the excavation started at uh, around 1902. So by no, no, no. the uh, 1930s, some things were rebuilt. But when the Nazis came here, they took many things around, around Europe. Like, a lot of things were stolen from here. So, yeah, that's all pretty much now. So they, they might have stolen some of these mm -hmm. architecture yeah. monuments and stuff? Yeah. So it's, that explains why some of them are like half mm -hmm. yes, built. Exactly. And then it's, yeah, it's, it's cool. Check out these, man. Iconic Apostle Temple of Asclepios, early 3rd century. Okay, I'm back to the start. There's a little cat. You always see these little cats everywhere around the restaurants. But that was really that's the I think that's the best thing I've done so far, guys. Best thing I've seen. I think it's worth paying 
eight euros to do that. I mean, but that's a bargain for me. Really beautiful monument. So yeah, praise God. See how much I'm in the middle of nowhere here. That's where the archaeological site was, quite far up that way. And now, going all the way back. It's a long walk. My battery is low, so I'm going to put my phone away now. And just walk all the way back to the hotel, I think. Just maybe get a drink somewhere, take a little nap. Yeah, so I'll see you guys in a bizzle. Okay, I'm just in Orthodox Church. Just people. Ooh, there's actually this is the service is actually in place right now so I don't want to disturb it too much so on my second day I managed to find the place it was just a short bus journey in the end Galatians 3.28 is not talking about 10 genders just to clarify uh, read the whole book of Galatians to understand it in context in the next video, I will show you the priest residence where they had the devotional areas and this was the place where the Apostle Paul stayed on his brief stop in Kos. Yeah, that was really exciting for me. It was just really good to see. And uh, yeah, I really recommend other people to go there and I'll put a link in the video just to explain how to get there as well. But yeah, hopefully we're going to release the next one in the next few days. And yeah, this guy's honestly, this was a really powerful trip. It started, it was a, it started as a holiday, but just in the end, I just ended up connecting with so many people. All will be explained in the next vlogs. Don't forget to like and subscribe.